The age of Shinobi is over. This is something that Kawaki tells Boruto in the flash forward scene in the Boruto manga, where in the latest chapter, Kawaki has come to the realization that all ninja are people who are going to die early in this hideous and cruel world. Ever since Kawaki has regained his karma seal back, he has been on a completely different level. Not just in terms of power, but on how he carries himself. Kawaki has already made two drastic decisions that has changed the outcome of the future when it comes to the Boruto series. First, he killed Boruto during the battle against Code, and in the latest chapter, he sealed Naruto away. We most likely won't see Naruto for a very long time, meaning that Kawaki is willing to take over. When it comes to Kawaki's ideology of becoming a shinobi, post Ishiki arc, at least in the Boruto anime, Kawaki wanted to embrace the idea of becoming a shinobi in order to protect Naruto. Ever since he did become a shinobi post Ishiki arc, Kawaki has witnessed the horrors and the negative consequences of being a ninja. In his very first mission, Kawaki had to escort somebody who was withholding medicine to help his own country. However, the escort did die, where Kawaki had to witness his death in his very own hands. We even see Kawaki break down, as this is the first time Kawaki has cared about someone that has died that was really never close to him. Ever since Kawaki was taken in by Naruto, Kawaki was taught the ways of becoming a shinobi, with the first idea of embracing the use of chakra. Naruto did state when teaching Kawaki how to use ninjutsu, is that chakra is the binding force. It brings everybody together. And that is pretty imminent when it comes to Team 7. The reason why Team 7 have a tight bond is not only just because of their friendship, but also because of the missions that they've went through, such as Mitsuki leaving the Leaf Village and then eventually coming back together, the fight against Deepa where they put their lives on the line, and fighting other Kara members. Ever since Kawaki joined Team 7, he's built a bond with everyone on that team, starting from the fight against Boro where he's made plenty of attacks and helped fight with the team when it comes to rescuing Naruto, and even when it comes to fighting other Osasuki like Ishiki, or even when Boruto and the Kage were fighting Momoshiki, the way that the Osasuki were taken down were by ninjutsu. Kagyo was sealed away by Naruto and Sasuke, which was by way of ninjutsu. Momoshiki was killed by Boruto, which was by ninjutsu. And Ishiki was also killed by ninjutsu when Kawaki used a shadow clone to trick him. And even though it didn't directly kill him, it's the main reason why Ishiki was defeated in the end. So with that being said, the way the Osusuki have been defeated, at least a majority of them in the main storyline, have been by way of ninjutsu. And that's the one thing Naruto tries to tell Kawaki, while there are many Osusuki running amok around the world, and for the future of the series, the way that we're gonna take him down is by being a ninja. And this is the first time Kawaki has essentially disagreed with Naruto when it comes to the concepts of being a shinobi. He tells Naruto straight up like, nah bro, that's not it. Being a shinobi is basically people who are going to die early when it comes to fighting Osusuki in this hideous world. That's why Kawaki vows to eliminate all of the Osusuki using their own power. And this is a concept that really hasn't been shown yet. While the Osusuki lore has been explored greatly in the Boruto series, when it comes to defeating them, while yes, we have seen many people in the Leaf Village be successful when it comes to taking down the Osusuki such as Naruto, Sasuke, Boruto, when it comes to defeating the likes of Momoshiki and Ishiki, people that have threatened the Leaf Village and tried to and essentially destroy the entire world, this is a completely different monster we're dealing with. Unlike the Osusuki that kind of yearn for power, Kawaki is a different type of Osusuki. Unlike all of the other Osusukis that essentially cheated their way to become stronger by going planet to planet and consuming so many chakra fruits to update their genetics to the point where they can destroy the shinobi world, Kawaki has witnessed the other side, the shinobi side, when it comes to living a life. And while he did have a very hard life growing up, ever since Naruto was introduced introduced to him and took him under his care, Kawaki has been able to utilize the way of being a shinobi, such as using chakra. Like Naruto told Kawaki before, chakra is a binding force that brings everybody together. However, the one thing that Kawaki has realized, despite the fact that ninjas have been able to take down these big battle Suzuki's, that's not going to be the same for long, because Kawaki is the problem here. He understands what it takes to be a shinobi, as he's been on those missions, he's witnessed the horrors and consequences of being a ninja. In the small time that he has been a part of Team 7, Kawaki has seen many people die, and while he understands that the 5 Great Nations are essentially at peace post Great Ninja War, there's still many threats that are to come, and when it comes to being a shinobi, you can't really fight these Osusuki now that more of them are coming, and becoming stronger. With the introduction of Shibai Osusuki, who isn't really a threat right now because he's essentially ascended, making him stronger than everybody in the series right now, who wouldn't say that there are more Osusuki coming into the 
story. I doubt that it isn't just going to be the Boruto and Kawaki show, we're gonna see more Osusuki in the story and while Ishiki did imply that there were basically no more Osusuki left, that's only up to his knowledge. Someone like Amado may know and it's even implied that Amado may even revive another Osusuki through his daughter's body using Kawaki's karma seal. And this is pretty interesting considering the fact that Kawaki hasn't really pushed away the idea of being a shinobi yet until the latest chapter. And speaking of the anime, I haven't been the biggest fan of the content that was dropping in the past year. However, the one thing that I really gotta commend with the anime post Ishiki arc during the anime canon arcs was the fact that Kawaki got to witness the horrors and the negative consequences of being a shinobi. He understands that not everybody across the world lives in sunshines and rainbows like how everybody else does in the five great nations. That's the one thing I find really interesting in this series is the fact that while Boruto and his friends lived a pretty decent life growing up in relative peace, many children are still suffering. And I mean, during the Kara activation arc, this is the biggest problem that was really exposed. We see smaller villages like the Hidden Rain that hasn't been fixed yet post Great Ninja War. And while this isn't Naruto or the other Kage's fault, it shows you that there are still many threats coming, especially when it comes to children and other people that live in poverty and not so flourishing areas, unlike the Leaf Village and the rest of the Five Great Nations. The Kara organization took advantage of this. When it comes to the destroyed outside worlds, they've taken advantage of this, such as finding Kawaki. Kawaki was a poor child growing up in a destroyed home, or his father who was drunk every day beat him, and Kara took advantage of that. They took orphans and many other children, used them to their advantage to find their own vessel. And this is the biggest problem that the shinobi world is facing. Eventually, one person is going to rise from these destitute areas and take over, and this is the one person. Kawaki. Kawaki is the one character in this series that has gone through both sides of living in a destroyed area and living in a good area, such as the Leaf Village. He's had many fathers that has treated him horribly and well, from his biological father, Jiken, and now Naruto, to the point where he has his own ideologies and he wants to implement them drastically. The one thing that Kawaki has over basically every character in the new gen of this series is the fact that Kawaki has gone through so much growing up. When it comes to loving someone, he has never really cared about anyone before, unlike when it comes to Naruto. Naruto was the very first person that took in Kawaki, and Kawaki has never felt this type of love before. It even explains why Kawaki has developed a very unhealthy obsession over Naruto, which even he realizes it's pretty bad. And this is because he's gone through so many drastic things, which explains why Kawaki has taken such drastic measures when it comes to protecting his people, which includes Naruto, of course. He prioritizes Naruto over everyone, and it's pretty eminent to why. And the fact that he sealed Naruto away, it shows you that yeah, Kawaki's gonna go on demon timing in these next couple of chapters in the Boruto manga. And when looking at the Hidden Leaf Village in the flash forward scene, it's pretty imminent that some crazy shit happens. With the fact that the village is destroyed, Kawaki most likely has a hand to do with it. And the fact that he does say that the Age of Shinobi is over, his battle against Boruto starting from the latest chapter isn't just about exterminating all of the Osusuki, it also is a battle of ideologies. The fact that Kawaki embraced the idea of becoming a shinobi and understood that there are many consequences and horrors of becoming a ninja, he understands that it's about time that we push away the idea of becoming a shinobi. And unlike with Kawaki, Boruto has grown up in a very good life. He hasn't really had anything crazy up until now. Ever since he killed Momoshiki and received his karma seal, he's had a very good and healthy childhood growing up. Outside of his troubles with the Naruto in the beginning of the series, Boruto has been chilling and yeah, he's been killed by Kawaki of course. Momoshiki has given the prophecy to Boruto of him losing it all and with Momoshiki hinting that Boruto will lose it all very soon and that day is approaching, Kawaki definitely has a hand into it. The fact that Kawaki says that the age of shinobi is over, not only will this affect the shinobi world but it will affect Boruto as well as his father was just sealed away and Boruto has no knowledge of it yet. He will find out, I think he'll find out basically the next chapter as Kawaki is gonna go and hunt down Boruto and this has many possibilities. And this is the one thing that really sets the difference between Boruto and Kawaki's character that is shown in the very first page. This isn't a battle between two brothers, but this is a battle of ideologies. On one side, we have somebody who's pushing the idea of being a ninja away, as it is the one thing that is killing a lot of people. Despite there being peace in the current storyline, we know that eventually a lot of destruction will happen. And despite Naruto, Sasuke, and Boruto being able to defeat these Osusuki, it eventually will come to 
the point where the Osasuki will catch on. Such as Kawaki, he understands what it's like to be a shinobi. He also understands what it's like to be an Osasuki. And on the other side, we have somebody who wants to continue embracing the way of being a shinobi with Boruto. Boruto growing up, he's always been taught to be a shinobi and that's the one thing that he's always relied on. And this battle of ideologies between Boruto and Kawaki didn't just start randomly, it actually kind of begun in chapter 57 where we saw the spar between team 7. Where Kawaki didn't want to train basic chakra drills where he did state that using these drills while they are useful, it won't be enough to fight somebody like Code and especially when it comes to fighting more of these bigger villains such as Ada and Damon and potentially Shibai and more Osusuki to come. And Boruto and the rest of team 7 on the other hand, they wanted to continue this training because this is the one thing that they were taught their entire life. Boruto and Kawaki fought each other during this bar where Boruto said that if you win, we'll train your way. Use the methods that Ishiki and Osusuki taught you on how to fight. Whereas if Boruto won, they would continue to use the ideas of a shinobi, such as training their chakra. Boruto did win that fight where eventually they did continue to train using basic chakra drills. Where in the following chapters where they fought Code, when they tried to use ninjutsu, it failed. I mean, Code absolutely destroyed Boruto and Kawaki despite the two of them trying to use their own abilities. It was only until Boruto and Kawaki decided to upgrade their karmas and use their Osusuki powers, with Boruto entering the true essence form of karma and Kawaki gaining his karma seal back, it was only then they were able to fight the likes of Code. It's because of their Osusuki like powers is the reason why they're so strong in the first place. Of course, ninjutsu is very important, but I really like this about the Boruto series because I feel like it flies over many people's heads. The embracing of becoming an Osusuki and using your karma instead of relying on ninjutsu. And as the series progresses, especially once more villains are introduced, I doubt that your average father shinobi is going to do anything in the story. It's portrayed pretty well as we do see in the Flash 14. Nobody else is standing outside of Boruto and Kawaki who are two Osusuki. Once we get toward the end of this series, we're going to see more and more Osusuki and less of the shinobi world. I think that's a pretty interesting concept thematically between Boruto and Kawaki's character. Kawaki wants to end the shinobi world, Boruto wants to save it. So let me know how you guys feel about this video in the comment section below. How do you feel about the popular phrase of the age of shinobi is over? If you do want to talk to me in the community, make sure do go join that discord link in the description below. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace.